Hi there, Chris here. <clears throat> I posted on how to quickly sand down a wood dowel follower to make it a little bit um, smaller than the standard Sparrows follower. Whoops, I don't know to fix that. Because sometimes you need to, uh, you need to deal with a core like this, which has, when you first start here, it's about fine for this follower, but when you get to here, when you get to this larger part, you, uh, you can't get that through with a shim. And, but if you make this, uh, you can. And somebody posted, and it was this person um, on that video. They said, buy cheap, you know, deep, deep wrenches, uh, socket wrenches, and you'll have all the followers you need. Well, so I went out in the garage and this is the one that seems to fit, it's a little small, but that's fine. I mean, it's still, you can still, you can put your shim in there. What's important is you can get your core back in or out. Um, and it, it does quite a nice job. So that's a great tip. Um, and there's, I have these other ones that would just about work on even smaller, um, for smaller followers. For here, let's see. See, that's gonna be too big. This one, let's see, how's that fit? That one you might be able to get away with, but the problem here is it's so short that you get to this uh, enlarged in, but they're not all made like this. Some of them might even be this small. So depending on the, the kit, you want to look for that so that they're all the same uh, diameter all the way down. So I thought that was a great tip. And uh, as you can see, it does work and you can get your, your core in and out. Anyway, um, Let's see, Lillican, Willer Can, uh, 1971. Thank you for that tip. Um, and if you can just walk out in the garage and you have some of these, it's even faster than uh, quickly sanding one of these down. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just another little update on that this uh, follower subject. See you next time.